Okay, today I'm back to give you guys another video. Today we will be unboxing the Rumixi GM300 gaming headphones. Sit down, relax, and enjoy my show. Let's start my intro. Okay, let's go ahead and start the show. Now, today we are unboxing the Rumixi gaming headset. Now, this is the model number GM300. Now, this is the box. It says active noise canceling, but I believe that's for the mic. Now, this is a gaming headset. Now, this one on Amazon, as you can see right there, is going for $24.99. And there is a coupon that you can save 15% off. And then you can also get it in black and orange. Now I got the black and blue right here. So also these, um, as you can see right there, it says that it has a 7.1 surround sound, right? So that's what they claim. We're gonna check it out. I'm gonna give you guys a review. And then I do like that uh, it has some LEDs on the side. That looks very nice. So I'm gonna check these out for a few days and then I'll give you guys my review. I'll attach the review to this video. So stay tuned right after this video, the review should start. So let's go ahead and show you the box on the back. Gives you some specifications. Now the impedance is 32 ohms, which is not bad. Uh, pretty good for the size of these headphones and they also have 50 millimeter drivers which is also pretty cool so let's go ahead and open these up all right so we do get some extra cables now we do get a splitter so you guys can use these headphones with your computer. So we do get a splitter. Very cool. All and at first glance, they feel pretty good. The cable actually feels pretty strong. It's a very thick braided cable. You can see there and it's pretty long and we do have a controller to mute and there is a volume rocker which is always nice and then we do have your headphone port and then this one is uh, I believe is for the LEDs on the side of the headphones now the mic is adjustable is pretty cool and the ear pads um, they feel pretty nice very very good nice and soft inside there is some padding um, it doesn't feel like memory foam different kind of foam but pretty good and right there that's pretty cool has the uh, aluminum bands that's always a plus in my eyes these actually feel like they will be a little bit more expensive if you were to buy something like these off Best Buy or something. But hopefully the sound is good. So that was my unboxing. Stay tuned and I'll be back with the review. Okay, so we're back. And after about a week of testing these uh, gaming headset from Rumixi, I'm pretty confident that I can give you guys a good review. Now, these gaming headsets on Amazon is going for $24.99, as you can see there. Now, there's a coupon that you can save 10%, and uh, you can get them in the color that I have them, which is like silver and blue, and also in a bronze color. But are they worth the money? Let's take a look. Okay, now let's move on 
to the accessories. And all the accessories that you get is this adapter. Um, and this adapter, you will need it if you wanna play on your computer. So keep that in mind. So one of them is for the headset, the other one's for the mic. Um, but if you're playing on your PS4 or uh, whatever other system, all you need is to connect it with this one right here. And that's it. This is only for your computer. So for the accessories, I mean, for $25, I guess you get all you need. There's no carrying bag. I wish we could have got a carrying bag, but for $24, I'm not gonna complain. So I'm still gonna give them thumbs up. Now let's move on to the hardware. Okay, now let's move on to the hardware. Now let's first talk from the bottom of the cable. You get a USB type A. Now this one you connect it to your computer or you can connect it to like a power bank. Now this is used, uh, you use it to turn on the LEDs on the headphones. And I'm gonna show you that in a little bit. Then you have your 3.5 millimeter jack. It is not gold plated, just keep that in mind. It is a, a braided cable and it is pretty long. And I kept it like that because I don't really need it. Uh, I don't like the long cord that much. Then you do have your controller. So it does have a volume rocker on the side, which is very nice and it works very good. And then you have your uh, mic, so you can uh, turn it off or turn it on. Now it doesn't feel like the best. It's just uh, the plastic feels a little cheap, but it works fine. And then the cable is not removable, which kind of sucks. I wish it was removable, but then if you think about it, you do need the, the type A USB to turn on the LEDs. Now, uh, the plastic on the ear, on the headphones, they feel pretty good. It doesn't feel cheap. It kind of resembles something you will buy at like Best Buy or GameStop for like $60. So I think uh, for $24, the construction is pretty good. And I do like that it has an aluminum band. And then on top, it has this, uh, this pattern. It looks pretty cool. That's pretty much it. And then the mic itself, I like it that you can adjust it to however you like. So that's pretty cool. And then the LED uh, turns on as well. So all in all, I do like it. The ear cup, ear cups um, on Amazon, it says that is memory foam, but it to me, it doesn't really feel like memory foam or if it's memory foam, it's not the best memory foam. On top as well, it feels like it's uh, soft foam, but you can tell when it's high quality memory foam and this doesn't feel like high quality memory foam if that's what they're using. But they're still pretty soft. So for the hardware, I'm gonna give them thumbs up. Now let's move on to the sound quality. Okay, now let's move on to the sound quality in gaming. So these are gaming headphones and some of the games that I played with these headphones, I played some Resident Evil 2 and the surround sound with these headphones sounded pretty good. Um, I was actually pretty impressed with the surround sound. Um, I did like that the zombies, you can hear them around you and uh, the, the noises that they make, the steps and everything like that sounded pretty good with these headphones. So I was impressed playing this game. I also played some Call of Duty. Again, the steps when you're playing, um, they sounded good. I was actually impressed with the sound that came from these headphones. And finally, I played also some Nintendo Switch. I played some Mario Odyssey. And you know, Mario is Mario. The, the sound that you get, everything came in clear. So I was happy, pretty impressed for the price range of these headphones. I think you will be happy with the sound if you're just gonna play games. Now let's move on 
to to talk a little bit about music. If you want to hear some music while while you play games or whatever. Okay, now let's move on to the sound quality in music. Now we're gonna talk a little bit, uh, very briefly on these headphones. Um, I did hear some music, not a lot of music, but enough to give you my my review. Um, if you're gonna play some games, but you also, you know, you wanna play some music as well. Um, they sound pretty good for $25. I think it's a nice bargain uh, headphones that you can play games and also play some music with these headphones. The bass came in pretty good. Um, not, nothing sounded gr like awesome or you're not gonna be impressed and say, oh, these are the best headphones, but everything came in pretty clear. I'm not gonna complain. You know, the price is right for, for gaming and you can play some music and you're not gonna say, oh, these are trash. So keep that in mind. Now let's move on to some testing. Okay, now let's move on to some quick testing. Now I connected these headphones to this uh, power um, battery, power bank. And as you can see, the LEDs turn on, which is very cool. And as well, the mic. And that's how it looks. Now let me turn off the light very quick so you guys can see what it looks like in the dark. Okay, so this is what they look like in the dark. And as you can see, the ear cuffs and then the mic. So that's what they look like. It's not too crazy and it looks good, I think. All right, let's move on to my final thoughts. Okay, now let's move on to my final thoughts. Now in the beginning of the review, I asked you guys, are these worth the money? And in my opinion, at $25, if you got $30 to spend on some gaming headset, these are pretty good. I was actually happy with these. I like the LEDs, they look very nice. They don't feel really cheap. I've seen way cheaper um, gaming headsets than this. And for the most part, everything is very comfortable. I've used these probably uh, straight, maybe two hours or three hours straight. And um, I didn't get fat fatigue. My ears didn't hurt. They didn't get really warm. Um, I had to adjust them maybe once, but nothing crazy. And uh, like I said, I've tested these headphones for about a week, I believe. And uh, everything was pretty good. So in my opinion, I think they're worth the money. For $25, you're getting a very good set of gaming headset. You're not breaking the bank and everything sounds pretty good. Also the mic, I know there's a lot of people that were gonna ask me if I didn't say this, but the mic sounds pretty clear. Um, I think it rivals uh, headphones that are a little bit more expensive. I don't wanna put a price, but, um, but they sound clear, clear enough. And then I have had people in the past on some headphones, gaming headphones that I reviewed in the past, and they will leave a comment like, oh, after six months, my mic broke or something like that. And all I have to say is take care of your headphones because uh, some of the headphones that I reviewed, um, I, I put them in a pouch and I use them here and there and I put them back in the pouch and they're still working. So I don't know what people do to their headphones, but I say just take care of them and they should last. Um, this one, I've used it for a whole week. Maybe I put maybe about 10, 10 to 15 hours of play time on these headphones and I haven't had a problem. Everything's good. So thumbs up. That was my unboxing and my review. Check out all my videos, subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time.